Get ready! It's the weekend! All hits, all hits, all the all time. time. Make some noise! Niggas and niggas, can I have your attention? <laughs> like, hello? Like, hello? <laughs> What it is, what it was, what it do is your favorite big homie, Savage the Virus, here at Spade House TV, the DMV platform for artists worldwide. And you already know that, people, what it is, what it is, it's the weekend. Uh, nigga, it's Friday the 13th, and it's always good for people like us, you dig? Fair, you know what I'm saying? 3.30 on a Friday, and I got a dear good homie. They're tripping. They are tripping. But anyway, Deuce the Real in the building, y'all. I got it. Listen, if you don't know about Deuce the Real, you're going to know about Deuce the Real right now. I'm talking about Mr. Pulling Up. Mr. I'm so tired, you know what I'm saying? But listen, anyway, Deuce, what it is, what it was, what it do, homie. Talk to the people, man. What's going on, man? It's Deuce the Real coming out of DMV, representing Hagerstown. I represent pretty much all of Maryland. I grew up all over the fucking place. What's up, Cumberland, Hagerstown, B. Moore, Gaithersburg, what's good, D.C.? Uh, right now, I reside out in P.A., right across, you know what I'm saying, right across the border and shit. But you know what I'm saying? I just be laying low out there. It's nice and quiet, you know what I'm saying? I stay to myself and shit, me and my kids. Shit, all I ever do, man, if I ain't working, I'm with the kids or I'm in the house writing, doing music, man. Shout out to uh, shout out Too Hot, Too Heavy, Dip, yeah, and Jeb out the Marksburg, West V. You know what I'm saying? Stamp that. That's where I go record all my shit at, man. If y'all looking for some quality shit, man, make sure you check them out, man. It's Too Hot, Too Heavy, Montsburg, West Virginia. I'm here with the big homie, Cyrus. Hey. Chippy, Chippy, Cyrus, Hi. Cyrus. And you already know. So, yeah, shout out to Too Hot, Too Heavy. Them boys definitely know what the fuck they're doing in there. I had a good experience being at that studio with them. All right, so you from the DMV. So you from Hagerstown or PA? I'm from pretty much Maryland. Like I claim, I claim Hagerstown, but I grew up in the system, so I was I was drafted oh, all wow. over the place, all Maryland. Com- mostly Cumberland and Hagerstown because my dad was in Hagerstown, my mom was in Cumberland, but I was in a couple. I was in like three group homes in Frederick. I was in like two group homes out in uh, Beemore. I was in Woodburn up there. Okay. Um, I was in like two boys' homes. One boy home, one boys' home in Frederick, and then I was in a like a little treatment center and shit out in uh, Frederick also. So that was a little tedious growing up, for real, for real. I mean, you know what I mean? Like, it taught me I know how it is because I'm adopted, so I know right. how that shit it's, can it's, be. It's, it taught me, it taught me to value the things that I have. You know what I'm saying? Don't necessarily look for what I don't have. Look, Just be courteous and be be grateful for what I do have. That's why I take pride in working. Like, everything I've got, I work hard for it. You know what I'm saying? Like... Don't get it twisted, you know, everyone's got friends, like, they'll give you shit from time to time, but right. as far as, like, the majority of my shit, I own because I work for it, you know what I'm saying, like, yeah, I'm like not saying, to salute to you on that, you too. know what I'm saying, like, I'm not saying I grew up, like, the most poor, most rough, most ghetto and shit, but I've seen enough to make me realize at a young age that, you know what I'm saying? In this fucking world, you got to get it how you live. Yeah. Most definitely. Most definitely. And I uh, salute you again for them trials and tribulations. Because like I said, I know how that is. Most of the time, they think people like us are going to fail. I've always been considered that, man. Look, like, I ain't trying to put my moms on the spot. But, you know it's what I'm saying? Crazy. My, my mom, like, for 21 years of my life, my mom was a fiend. You know what I'm saying? But by the grace of God, you know what I'm saying? She got locked up down to Jessup, down towards Baltimore and shit. Served three years down that way. You know what I mean? And once she got out, she cleaned her life up. She decided to stay up around this area to be around my, you know, my babies and shit like that. Right. Be around me so she can go back to that same pattern up there in Cumberland. You know what I mean? But at the same time, by the grace of God, you know what I'm saying? Like, what she did and everything that I saw, everyone was always saying, like, oh, you're just going up like your mother. You're going to be this. You're going to be that. That's that craziness. And but you nobody... beat all them odds for real, though. <clears throat> I admit that. Even without him in my corner, I had that mindset that I was gonna win. But I think you winning already. You got listen, you 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 and not to sway from it, but I think you have. 
You know what I'm saying? You, oh yeah, you, compared to where work, I came from. Your work and everything, your progression and all of that, you I'll be watching. You know I'll be watching. Of I'll course. be learning. So all of that, you know, and I think that you got a lot of that in the I'm so tired record too, as well, right? You know, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That the the I'm so tired record is um you know, disrespect because we still good. We on good we on good uh we on good terms, but my my soon to be ex wife it kind of inspired for me to write the song, but it's it's in general about all relate like serious relationships I've been in. But what me and her went through towards the end really sparked that for me to write about it. And in my eyes, a lot of people that's like even before we knew each other, like back when I was right when I was like fifteen years old, they say by far this is like my best song I've ever wrote, ever recorded anything even like the new shit i've done after that right. they fuck with it but they always they go back that. to oh, i'm so tired because like my my perspective in that song is based on relationships i've been in right the hook in general shout out to my man Corey b if y'all ain't know Corey b y'all can look him up on instagram you can look him on twitter you can look him up on facebook Corey b music that's my motherfucking that's name. right give him them tags you, you gotta give him them damn tags but um like when the hook, when he's singing a hook, it can resent to it. Can, it can relate to anything. Like you, you so tired. It could be your job. It could be family issues. Yeah. It could be anything. My yeah. perspective on it was I'm so tired. Like the relationships and shit that I've been through. Indeed. But if you look at it, not based off my verses, but by your own perspective on the hook it, itself, you can have your own outlook on what you're so tired of and shit then i think we got to give people that time to go and reflect on what you've been through listen y'all we about to give it to you real quick i'm so tired featuring Corey b you dig what i'm talking about you already know I place you first Guess it's nothing left to say So I wish you the best It's sad that I love Just couldn't pass the test But now I gave you all I had But it just wasn't enough Now we're here Oh, I'm so tired of the pain Time, hell, I would I go back to the times when shit was all good Look in your eyes and tell you it's all real And the way you found my heart and helped my soul heal But now we're in the situation and I can't shake it Where you used to lay your head, girl, now it's so vacant Never again will I let my guard down Cause this love shit's deep, I refuse to drown It's this karma for the shit in my past Am I the reason that the shit never seems to last? Yeah, I'm feeling getting colder, the older will grow Yeah, my state of mind's fine, but this heart's no more So... Shit, man. I don't know where it went wrong. Now we here. I'm so tired of the pain. I had to let you go, put up with way too much, I'm ashamed of myself Seems like in the end, all you wanted was wealth I can finally see the light that's been trying to shine Damn, you treated me so cold, but I'm doing just fine The worst part is I always kept it 100 And you were always switching up, you ain't know what you wanted But now it's too late 
late, there's no going back You had the best part of me and that's a fact Now it's time to walk down this cold road all alone Yeah, it's time to walk down this cold road all alone So I loved you the best I could But it wasn't enough I'm so tired of the pain Get ready! It's the weekend! All hits, all hits, all the all time. time. Make some noise! Your hit music channel. Only the best music. Your classic hits. What it is, what it was, what it do, it's your favorite big homie, Savage the Virus, here at Spade House TV, DMV platform for artists worldwide, do surreal with the I'm So Tired featuring Corey B. Listen, <coughs> that joint slaps so hard, bro. That shit slaps so hard. Now, I gotta ask you a question, because for the fans that does know you and for the people who don't really know you, we're well, gonna have to get to know you a little bit better. So, I'm gonna ask some certain questions, and I'm gonna need you to come up with your immediate response to the answer. Are you ready? I'm always ready. Favorite color? Blue. Favorite animal? Snow leopard. Favorite thing to do? Spend time with my kids outside of that music. Where would you want to go if you can go? Mount Everest. Mount Everest? I ain't climbing that bitch, but I like to go there. I like to go, I like to go to like the base of it. I dig it. You're like, I just want to see the motherfucking shit up in the clouds. And go, what is that? Is that a mountain? Is that a goat? My ass ain't the shit to climb that bitch. Oh, man. Look, we got one more record so we can put this in here. And then I might have to make sure I do a continuation. Number two, that's what it do. You got this joint pouring up the potion. Get into it real quick. Yeah, it's a new joint point out the potion. I just released this uh last month or in or in January. Um I was gonna do a video for it, kinda had to put some things on hold. But I'm uh I'm gonna be definitely doing the video for this shit in the next two months though, so look out for that. Oh big dev, and you already know. Submit your music. Original content only. Don't make me blast you for copyright infringement. Fuck you talking about spayhouse.tv at gmail.com. Let's go. Get ready! It's the weekend! Send a point of the potion, go through the motions. 90, not 270, now I'm coasting. Reminiscing on life and this deception. You gotta get it, how you live, that's my perception Huh, I done did it, yeah, your boy did it I done made it through the most, but damn it, I'm still living Never stayed down, show life and kept kicking Outcast like three stacks, boy, I never fit it, uh Trouble so mine, this music keep me sane, no Relationship problems, they always the same, so I keep it moving, my focus is on a different motive And when I'm stressing, blow most smoke than a locomotive And when they took my brother, I never recover from it And if I catch you done it, run up, get a drummer, son so damaged from all the horror and all the sorrow My OG told me, live like there was no tomorrow Flashing lights, that's it, I'm about to go away Everything I work for, I'll say fuck it, and I throw away Pour another one for the brothers who locked down The ones who death row, man, they taking their walks down. And I'm pouring up the potion, going through the motions Now not 270, now I'm coasting Reminiscing on life and this deception Gotta get it how you live, that's my perception uh, Family full of cancer, Lord, why they gotta suffer Glad you never took my mother, cause you know I love her And when it's coming, but my heart always being cold This weight is heavy, but nah, I won't ever fold Always singled out, I'm a G 
I can take the pressure. These cats are soft, but me, yeah, I'm a different texture. I'm pulling up the potion, why? So I can gravitate. I gotta make it so my brothers, they can grab a play. Ely, Jazzling, and Ivan, yeah, they my lifeline. Long as my kids straight, bruh, well, then I'm fine. I go against the grain, riding in my own lane. And all this jewelry's an illusion just to hide the pain. House is full of junkies, residence is purgatory. The next place I lay my head was my only worry. My youthful days, I was constantly full of fury. And say no rap, motherfucker, this is a real story. Pouring up the potion, what it is, what it was, what it do is your favorite not big not homie, Silence the Virus. Here at Spade House TV, the DMV platform for artists worldwide.